Okay, so interesting energy, a lot of fours, and all we need is the four of pentacles to balance this out. But I have four of wands, four of cups, and four of swords. So four is actually a very stable number as well, um, and it deals with, you know, in this situation, this is a marriage. This is a very happy home environment here. Whereas like Four of Cups deals, it's also in the reverse position, which is really good because um, you offer a lot of options and you're actually going to pick one and to run with it. All these options are very stable or very um, conducive to longevity. Okay, so all these cards are reinforcing each one another and it's going to prove to be a month of stability for you. So that's what I'm seeing in general. With the High Priestess, um, let's talk about that first, I forgot. So with the High Priestess in the reverse position, this is um, new information, a new sense of enlightenment, and a, basically new insights into um, either new situation or old problems, okay? So the energy itself is really, really conducive to um, to moving forward with your life as well and it's corroborated here with the eight of um, cups in which a situation from your past a situation that you've been contending with that you've invested a lot of uh, feelings a lot of time and a lot of work into making it you know just perfect is no longer serving you so then you have to move on you have no choice but to move on at this point so what I'm sensing is a lot of you might have invested, I don't know, eight months, eight years, eight weeks into a situation that no longer works out because what it happened here is towards the end of that, you know, relationship, that work situation or that friendship, um, the other person, you, you come to like new insights about the other person which dramatically changed the way um, you view them is what I'm sensing. So you have no choice but to walk away and this is coming in the end of the month. So let's look at the rest of this month before that energy comes in, okay? And I just want you to um, understand as well, I feel that you're walking, you're not trying to make a big deal out of this because you've already made up your mind and you feel that there's no way you can get past it or there's no way you can salvage that old relationship. So you're quietly walking away without you know, much fanfare because you really don't want to rub it in, which is fine. Um, however, I would advise you that, you know, the other party is not, um, is not going to, I'm not going to say like, I was almost about to say like, um, they're not going to let you off the hook, but I would say in this situation, it could go either way, okay? So if new information has come to light about you, the other party is not about to quietly, you know, take the defeat and let you walk away. If the information is about the other party, they're going to pick, kick up a fuss over you being so, like, quiet about this, okay? So, um, yeah, it's going to be a little difficult because of this kind of, like, annoying energy. But I would say, you know, I, I feel that you're making the right choice here, okay? You're being decisive and you're being objective enough to know that um, there's nothing you can do, there's nothing either parties can do. So you're going to let this, you're going to cut your losses and, you know, just move on, which is a good thing to do and it's coming in the end of the month, okay? So let's talk about the rest of um, the beginning, middle of this month. What I'm sensing is... Um, a lot of you too might have moved into a new home, uh, might have relocated, might have moved in with a lover or a, even a family member, or a lot of you might be returning home to visit, you know, old family members and friends. So this is a very good energy here, and I just feel that the beginning of the month there is much cause for celebration, and there's also a lot of a sense of contentment, a sense of like. Um, I would say like also you're around people that you trust and people that you've known for a really long time. So they're bringing a lot of stability and grounding to your to your life, to your world, okay? I feel that this shakeup might have happened, you know, the end of um possibly in February, the around the second half of February, like February 15th onward. Therefore, um, you you kind of need this to be around like supportive people, friends and families and loved ones, people who you've known for a long time, to reclaim that sense of stability within you, okay? And then in the process, um, 
a lot of you two might have been offered like a new project, a new friendship, a new love partner. And what I'm sensing is this is a situation from the past as well that um, you were occupied with another, you know, with that past situation. Um, and now that past situation has cleared up, you're actually going to pursue new things, okay? I would um, definitely say that pursue this new thing, but um, don't set your expectations too high because I don't feel that it's going to live up to your potential, at least from the get-go, okay? What I'm sensing is it's going to take like four day, four, sorry, not days, uh, four months to manifest itself, okay? So it's going to manifest, let's see, um, we are in March, April, May, June, July, so around July is going to start manifesting in, in the ways that you want, okay? So what I'm sensing in general is that um, with this new opportunity that you're going to move forward with, there is a, a, a period of dormancy and it's reinforced by this Four of Swords, it's in the reverse position, which is also, you know, like activity. Um, it indicates like um, momentum. It, it indicates like waking up from a slumber and moving forward. It also indicates like taking initiative and action. But this new situation is next to the Ace of Cups, which means emotional fulfillment. But because of the way it's lined up, this is going to require a lot of investment on your end in order to get the outcome that you want. So it's not going to manifest in the way that you want until like um, a period of four months later, okay? So that would be, like I mentioned, okay, so um, we are in March, April, May, June, July. In the time of um, cancer, you know, with this cup, I feel that it will be inverted, okay? So don't set your expectations too high and really work at it. I feel that it's a really good opportunity, so if it's a new job, just really work at it and things will come to fruition in the time of um, of cancer, okay? So the next water sign and it's also um, the next period, like after the four month of dormancy where things are not like coming to fruition, it will actually manifest itself and it will be very favorable, okay? So I definitely hang in there. Patience is um, it's the key word here. And I feel that, you know, with Taurus, patience is, is your forte. So I would definitely say, you know, go with it because it has a lot of potential, okay? And it actually will bring you a lot of happiness and stability to the way the cards are aligned, okay? Um, it's just going to be slow. With the Empress card, what I'm sensing is, um, for those of you who are single and on the market, I feel that a lot of people are very attracted to you. The Empress deals with uh, fertility as well. For those of you who might be um, trying to have a child or who are not, you know, take proper precautions. But in general, this is a very abundant, a very attractive person, okay? And I feel in the, in the sign of Taurus, it's also very appropriate because um, I always get what I always sense from the Empress card. The, even the first time I saw it, um, I keep seeing this as like um, the Queen of Pentacles, you know. So then I feel like the Empress and the Queen of uh, Pentacles are like interchangeable. Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. I almost feel as if they're interchangeable, okay, because um, of the way they're just the way that I, the, the vibes I get from them. So this is a really nice, abundant, very loving, very attractive, and very um, um, laid back type of energy in which um, you have to, you sit back and all the good things from the universe are basically being dumped on your lap, okay? So what more can you ask for? This is a really nice energy here. It's it's uh, promising of a lot of abundance and a lot of wealth, material or mental or spiritual wealth, okay? Emotional wealth as well. So this is really nice energy coming in. So I would say definitely take that project. Um, you have to work at it, though, but in, you know, four months' time, you're definitely going to reap the rewards, okay? So let me know how this plays out for you guys. Um, for those of you, too, I forgot to mention, um, who might have, like, recently relocated, I feel that, um, you know, the house itself might require a little bit of, like, um, fixing up. So money is definitely being re uh, invested in that housing situation. 
I would say it's not a huge chunk of money. We do have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse position. But um, what I would advise you is if you're living with a partner, if you're living with somebody else, if you're living especially with a younger person, I feel that you're going to deal with people who are flaky when it comes to their financial obligations, okay? With the Page of Pentacles. So um, they might give you like silly excuses here and there why they're late for the rent or why they're late for, you know, the bills. But um, it's really important to set them straight okay so also for those of you who are dealing with like a younger earth sign male or female who, that might be in your work environment or in your home environment I don't think this is somebody you're romantically involved with um, just the way the cards are it could potentially be but I, I think for the majority of you it's going to be like a, a friend a younger friend or like a co-worker that you're dealing with or a younger friend that you're living with and they're just like making excuses and they're kind of irresponsible when it comes to their financial obligations that might involve you so you know keep that in mind and set them straight because um this is serious stuff you know you you want your your home environment to be stable okay so it's important to keep everything else stable as well in your life um and additionally you know this is a card here um with the four of swords what it is, is um, the period for resting, the period for taking a step back is over. So this is um, the month for you to take action, okay? So whatever you've been pining to do, definitely take the initiative on that, okay? You do have a lot of support here, but um, it's very important as well. For those who are... I keep going back to this. Um, so for those who are dealing with people that... Um, Okay, so what I'm sensing is if it's a love situation in which you're living with someone, if it's like a, a dear friend that you're cohabitating, uh, cohabiting with, and um, if it's like uh, somebody within your midst that you're emotionally invested in, I would say approach the situation with a little more discernment and a little more objectivity because I feel that you're cutting them a little too much slack, okay? I, f I feel that way and that's not fair to you I, I don't feel that's fair and additionally if it is you that is um, you know this is also the earth sign so if it is you that is um, not being responsible with your finances and your financial obligation and not carrying your weight in that relationship I feel that the other person is going to give you a piece of their mind so be prepared for it okay but um I just feel that whoever you know, like, um, depending on what end of that spectrum you fall under, I feel that the other person is very reasonable. They're not going to be mean about it. They're just going to be very upfront and demanding of, you know, whatever is due. So then, you know, approach this situation rationally, okay? I feel that this is the person, whoever does the telling off, I feel that they're in the right position to do so because what I'm sensing is this person is trying to get at the truth and they're being very objective about it and they're not being clouded by you know the emotional rapport that you might have with them or they might have with you so in that situation it is very important to take this seriously because you do share an environment together um, whatever that capacity might be so you want to make it to the best that it can be, okay? So it's a, one of those mutually beneficial relationships. So don't let things like finances, don't let things like um, inequality in, you know, the give and take affect this really nice, splendid situation, all right? So that's the best way that, that I can put that, you know, that's the nicest way. So, you know, don't renege on your... Um, financial obligations don't renege on your give and take you know be fair and um, there's there has to be equal give and take if one person gives all the time then the cup will just run out okay so it's very important to keep that in mind and additionally for those of you who might have uh, be involved with like an air sign um, I just feel that you know um, this is not gonna apply to all but I feel that for those of you who are involved with an air sign, I just want you to know that um, 
like I mentioned, you know, you feel that you're investing a lot in and you're you're not getting enough out, I would definitely say hang in there because um, things will actually come to fruition, like I mentioned, within that four time frame. It could even be four weeks as well, so a month, like next month, or it could be like four months. What I'm sensing is a very short period of time though, okay? Because it's things are actually going to work out because this is in the upright position, so an air sign. Um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, and a Libra, okay? So things will actually work out very nicely, so just hang in there. But it does require that um, you deal with these problems, okay? If there are problems creeping up, you talk about it, you bring it out in the open, you try to solve these problems and, you know, gain new insights as to how you can move forward so that you can move forward, okay? So, um, let me know how this plays out in your life and um, please like, share, subscribe and leave me comments as well. I love reading comments.